Now, a fisherman's friend or foe, CCTV cameras have been fitted to a fleet of North Sea trawlers for the first time to try and reduce the number of discards, fish which are the wrong size or thrown back into the sea dead. But will it really help conserve fish stocks, or is it just yet another burden on an ailing industry? For tonight's special report, our science editor Tom Clark joined the crew of the Emulator, a Scarborough-based -based trawler, for a three-day trip hunting cod in the North Sea. At 58 foot and a few years past her prime, the emulator looks just like a typical English trawler. There are a few industries less accessible to outsiders. Just trying to get on board will tell you that. So why has this boat agreed to submit herself to round-the-clock scrutiny by high seas surveillance cameras? We are prepared to take cameras to prove to these people, to the scientists, to the Hugh and Fernley Witches and Stills of this country, that we are not criminals, we want to preserve cod as much as anyone else does. And with that, we head out of Scarborough on a five-hour overnight voyage to the cod and haddock grounds, 30 miles offshore. After several hours trawling, the net comes up and the Big Brother technology starts rolling. Right now, the crew are in the fish room. It's these CCTV cameras which monitor every single fish this boat lands. Because there's one pointed at this chute here, it can see exactly what they're throwing over the side as well. Putting what we've caught on camera is part of a trial ban on throwing good fish back into the sea dead. Europe's common fisheries policy was set up to rescue dwindling stocks in places like the North Sea. But for decades, its rules have forced fishermen to discard fish that are too small or for which they have no allowance or quota to catch. Emulator is being allowed to catch extra cod in return for agreeing not to throw any undersized or unsaleable cod back into the sea. You can watch it going into the baskets. You can see them throwing it through the air into the washer and things like that. From the comfort of an office back in Scarborough, inspectors scrutinise emulators' catch. The same goes for 11 other trawlers in the trial. I've worked in fisheries for 15 years monitoring discards and this is the first opportunity we've had to actually encourage fishermen to be responsible and proactive about changing their own activities while they're at sea, you know, reducing discards in a proactive way. And it's made an impact. The average European trawler discards 38% of the cod it catches. Boats in the trial throw away less than 1%. They don't get extra money for the undersized fish they're forced to land, so there's an added incentive to avoid catching smaller fish. Very different from the old days. I didn't know any better. I was fishing haddock, whiting, I was fishing cod, and I was probably discarding 600% of what I was keeping sometimes, certainly 200% and 300% immature fish, small fish, our boats don't see that anymore. But fishermen argue discarding fish is a symptom of a Europe-wide one-size-fits-all policy. By next year, fisheries ministers, including our own, have promised reform. What we have to do is to get it back to a local management where we are looking at it in terms of the sea basin, the ecosystem, uh, whether it's the North Sea, the Irish Sea, the Celtic Sea, or wherever, uh, and that we are managing it locally instead of trying to think that we can manage mess sizes from Brussels. That's been the absurdity, and that's what's resulted in discards. And we're at last, for the first time in 30 years, we're seeing a change of direction. So is extending our surveillance culture to the high seas the direction we're talking about? Well, as long as there are too many boats across Europe chasing too few fish, it may be just the sort of future our fishing industry faces.